All right, Libra, welcome in. Hello, how are you doing? This is your July reading. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's feel into this right now, see where we're going. I'm going to talk a bit about the astrology of July uh, as we get further into the extended. I'll talk a little bit more about the moons and about Saturn and Neptune going retrograde. Um, Saturn is going retrograde at the end of June, so just a few days from now in Pisces, right? I believe it's around 19 degrees of Pisces. And wherever you have Pisces in your chart, because you do have it, just because you're a Libra doesn't mean I don't have any Pisces. You do. You have a, a house that is connected to Pisces. And uh, that's where Saturn is transiting right now. Neptune is also transiting. Neptune right now is at 29 degrees, 55 minutes, I think, of Pisces. So the very last five minutes uh, of the full Zodiac, not even, you know, Zodiac ends in Pisces and then we start again in Aries. So um, Pisces is pull. There's Saturn. Uh, Pisces is pulling back, or uh, sorry, Neptune is pulling back uh, from shifting into Aries. Won't really shift into Aries um, for quite a while, actually. It's going to be retrograding for quite a while. Uh, so Neptune uh, pulling back the veil of illusion in whatever area of life Pisces is for you. Pulling back the veil of illusion. So let's go deeper into the reading right now. They may be two different um, things. Usually the astrology does connect to the reading. So we'll see where we go. Uh, message, and I'm getting healer here. So I'm going to pull that. Healer of soulmates. Libra. Of course you are because Libra, it's like the patron saint of relationships. So you're some kind of healer of soulmate relationships or any kind of relationships good fortune, not just your own, lucky, oh, boundaries, yeah, so something about relationship healing is going to require that you draw some boundaries, I feel like you're going to be stepping in, to, if you haven't already stepped into either um, money or affluence or time or wisdom or whatever you have an abundance of, there's people around you who may be jealous of that. So I want you to, um, I feel like one of your uh, relationship healing sore points might be about boundaries. And that's something that is coming up now as we get into July. Whoopsie, come on back, soulmates. Um, that is, as we get into July. But I feel like you're a healer of soulmate energy. Hmm. A healer of soulmates a healer of soulmate energy. All right, there's three of swords I just saw. So uh, some of you do have to heal your own heart before you can really step into this. And however that's manifesting for you, let's see where the reading takes us. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, Libra. Neptune retrograding, Saturn retrograding in Pisces. So that could fall, does that fall in your sixth house? I think it falls in your sixth house. Fifth house, sixth house, something like that. Um, I'll do that. I'll talk about it more in the extent and make sure I know what I'm talking about before I go telling you. But fifth house is about love and sex and joy and creativity. And the sixth house is quite the opposite. It's about how we do daily living. How do we do daily routines? How do we uh, become moving from this romance part of the relationship into the creation of an everyday routine. So there's something like that for Libra right now. Page of Wands, Seven of Cups, Six of Wands, Nine of Wands, Page of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, I love this, the sun, I'm taking that. So this is about, um, I feel like a lot of people, and you may not even notice this really, you may not think of it as a career or anything like that, but there may be a lot of people coming to you for career advice or counsel around how to handle people. If you have a lot of patterns of having difficulties handling people or handling certain situations, this is going to pull back that kind of veil for you and see where you've been too naive about people or you've just been codependently trying to heal things for other people as opposed to, you know, holding space for other people to heal themselves. 
right? Bringing information forward, bringing modalities, bringing clearing energy. The person themselves does the healing, but you know, God, right? The doctor takes the fee. <laughs> what is it? God does the healing, but doctor takes the fee or something like that, where, you know, the doctors make the body ready for healing. And then it's like the spirit, body, mind, spirit connection is the thing that does the healing. Um, so there's something here about being inspired, being inspired by your own patterns, at the, at, you may have felt like ashamed of these patterns or like, I'm supposed to be a healer. How could I have patterns, right? Like the, there's something like that. And it's like, no, I'm wearing that as a badge of honor. Do I have trouble? Did I have trouble with boundaries? You bet I did. Did I have trouble with um, uh, people vampiring me? You bet I did, right? So, and it's like, yeah, I know whereof I speak. Hmm. All right, so let's see where the reading takes us. Knight of Wands, the Hanged Man, King of Pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with a Sag or an Earth sign. Uh, I just feel like this is about your creativity. Uh, if you're dealing with a Virgo, I just talked quite a bit about Michelangelo laying on his back and uh, seeing things in a different way. Uh, in terms of creativity, his creativity was flowing, obviously, doing the Sistine Chapel. But... The, this, of course, I'm in Italy talking about this, but the, there's something here about um, letting your create, being open to this, being open to um, a sexual advance from someone, being open to this, feeling the joy of it. This is a soulmate. Okay. This is a soulmate coming in and you may be working on your boundaries. So at this time, it's kind of like, you know, there's a, sometimes there's a confusion where we have no boundaries and then our boundaries are too harsh. And then there needs to be some kind of balancing that goes on. All right. So seven of wands, ace of pentacles and the three of cups, there's going to be conflict, uh, until you get a sense of what healthy boundaries are, as opposed to no boundaries and then too many boundaries. Um, and I just feel like there might be a lot of second guessing that you're doing of yourself. You're really needing to see this, this, oh, King and Queen of Pentacles, something Ace of Pentacles, something real, something tangible, something 3D wants to emerge from a very spiritual soulmate connection. Something 3D wants to emerge. I'm going to say it again from something that has been a very spiritual connection in the past or a very solely sexual connection in the past. Like I'm not, I don't really feel like hit it and quit it is correct because this person is a king of pentacles. They keep coming back. They keep coming back. They keep coming back. Three of pentacles, five of cups and the devil card. Wow. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. I feel like you make a, you make an opportunity or an opportunity for this person to build something new with you. I feel like they're behind you on the path in terms of their own healing. Still super connected to the physical. Okay, super connected to the physical. And so this person, when you say like, let's make something tangible, right? There's this Ace of Pentacles, there's conflict here. All right, there's conflict or there's resistance coming up. Maybe for you, maybe for them. Seven of Wands, Justice, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Lover's Card. This person has to make a decision. I almost feel like this might have some third-party energy to it. But I just really want to continue with you. I want to keep with you about what are you allowing and what are you not allowing. Some of you may be healing your connection to third parties. I'm not doing that. That's the pattern we're healing uh, and so making boundaries with this person is the correct thing to do, even though you have inner conflict around it. Uh, you might be feeling like, uh, why am I pushing this person away? You, you may feel that. You may feel like it's antithetical to what I want. I really want this person in my life, but I'm pushing them away because it's a third party situation. So you are definitely healing some pattern that has held you back. Definitely healing some pattern. And other people need to see you doing that, being very visible. Other people are going to celebrate this for you. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Ten of Wands. Magician. 
and the Page of Pentacles. Uh, becoming a teacher, becoming a teacher or a healer. It's almost like something about that body, mind, spirit connection. What does it look like in the physical? What does it look like in the spiritual? What does it look like in the ethereal? What is it? What is you got to like go through all of your all of your different bodies, right? Uh, Eckhart Tolle talks a lot about all the, the pain body and other things. Wow, that just came out of nowhere. Uh, read some Eckhart Tolle about your pain body. Okay, because your pain body, it, it feels familiar to not be chosen or it feels familiar to be in this situation. And this can be past life. I've been getting a lot of past life um, energies here. Your job is to heal some kind of soulmate uh, contract around third party. That is your job as the patron saint, <laughs> Libra, of relationships. Your job is to heal that by nurturing yourself, by taking care of yourself, by having boundaries that are healthy boundaries, by making those boundaries known. I almost feel like you're hanging on to this person thinking this is the only person that will love you or this is the only shot you have okay at love and that's what's holding you back it's the only this is the only person for me on this whole entire planet could be a twin flame six of cups two of swords look at that six of cups two of swords ten of swords this is not true okay this is not true it's almost like a counter counterfactual <laughs> or something like that. Not a counterfactual, but a counter counter um, intuitive that to make a boundary and walk away and say no is the thing that brings in union. This person is trying to create union with you spiritually and not physically. And OK, you're in union with them spiritually. But there's a physical part that kind of needs to happen here. Because King and Queen of Pentacles and this devil energy. Now, this story, this is the mythic deck that I have. I love this deck. Um, this is the original printing, the original artwork, which I think is out of print. But um, anyway, this Five of Cups, this story is Eros and Psyche. And they are, you know, sleeping together every night. He disappears in the day because he's an angel, right? He's an angel, Eros. And um, she wants to see him. She wants to see him. And so one night um, after they are together, they have intimacy, they are together. She lights a lamp and hold, tries to hold it up to his face and a drop of oil, hot oil, uh, falls on his shoulder and burns his shoulder and he, he wakes up and he flees. And so she's trying to really see him and he doesn't want her to see him. He feels like that will like ruin the magic or something like that. I feel like you could be dealing with a person like that. Not necessarily an angel. <laughs> Take that however you want. Um, <laughs> not necessarily an angel, but so <laughs> somebody who um, is trying to preserve the image you have of them, trying to keep that pristine sense that, or uh, that longing that you have that feeds them. A little advice for you here. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Wheel, Nine of, Nine of Cups. Wow. Okay. So you're going to get what you want when there's something about this illusion, pulling back the illusion. When Saturn and Neptune, Neptune especially, when Neptune goes in retrograde, um, it is pulling back, uh, some area of illusion that you have, and it's showing you the reality. This person is fighting against you seeing the reality of them, but that's what love is. It's vulnerability. This person's having a hard time with it. Okay. So let's go deeper into this. I'm going to talk more about the astrology in the extended, um, to pull back that veil of illusion is going to get you what you want, even though it's counterintuitive how it occurs. Okay. All right. Link is below, below, below. <laughs> link is below Libra. If you want to continue on, if this is your reading, I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.